everybody welcome back if you are new here my name is laurel and i love to create i create all kinds of things we have been doing a lot of gnomes so i decided to take a little break from gnomes and we're going to do a little home decor today so i'd gone to dollarama and i picked up one of these serving paddles and i was looking for a cutting board style more but i found this it's a little narrower but i thought it will still work and it did work so great. So I got home and I pulled out the air dry clay and a little bit of UV resin and I came up with this adorable little home decor sign for your kitchen or whatever. And it's just air dry clay with a little bit of UV resin in there. You don't even need to put the resin in if you don't want, you can fill it in with clay as well. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys right now and we're gonna try to recreate your very own coffee sign. Okay, we're just going to start by removing our plastic from our bamboo paddle. And then a little white chalk paint. I watered down a sponge brush quite a bit so it was quite wet. I didn't want the paint to be too thick so it's a little bit see-through when it dries. And then some air dry DOS clay. Just rip us off a chunk of that making sure to wrap that up really good when you're not using it. And then we're just going to roll that out with a rolling pin. When we get it big enough, we're just going to put that directly onto our board. <clears throat> and we can cut our shape then right on there. Makes it easier. Then we can roll it right on there too. And then I just use this wooden stake for a straight edge. I took an X-Acto knife to cut the sides and with this I beveled it just a little bit, making it kind of rough. I didn't want it to be completely smooth and straight. And then I just dampened my glove here and smoothed it out a bit. And then back with the wooden stake for the straight edge, I just kind of was rolling it to get those lines so they're all fairly even. I did find it wasn't working so good, so I just got out the metal ruler instead and that worked a lot easier. Bit of a sharper edge. And then we're doing the same thing, going sideways. So we have our checkered pattern and now we're going to roll out another piece of clay and start on our cup. So with this I just kind of draw out a pattern with my knife, uh, whatever shape you want it to be. And don't cut all the way through here, just lightly on the top. That way if it's not quite the way I want it, I can just erase it with my finger and do it again. Sometimes it'll take a couple times before it's the way I want it. And then you can trace that out and just tear it away. And then we're going to roll out another piece of clay and we're going to make our saucer for the, our cup. I find doing it in two separate pieces gives us more of that 3D effect that we want. And then we'll just cut that out as well. And we're going to put those right onto our tile board there. Placing them wherever you want them to be. And then we're just going to use our tool here and just smooth out the edges. <clears throat> this is just tools I got off Amazon. It's a clay tool set that comes with all these silicone tip tools, they work great for smoothing. I, I love them. And if you flip the board over, then, well, that way you can see it from all angles. You can get all those edges nice and smooth, rounding them off, making them look more natural. And 
And now I'm just cutting out the center part where the coffee would go. I'm not cutting all the way through. We don't want to cut into our tiles. And then just smoothing that again. I gave it a little bit of a texture. So it looks more like liquid under there. And smoothing the edges all around it. We want to make sure we do have a nice firm edge though around that because we're going to pour our resin right into that hole. And now we're just going to make our little plaque sign. So we're going to leave this a little bit thicker and just cut out a wavy rectangle. We're going to place that right on our board wherever you want it to be. And then we're going to smooth out our edges again, dampening it a little bit if we need to with just a little bit of water. Making those edges a little bit beveled but smooth at the same time. And now we're going to put our word on there. For this one I chose to write the word coffee. You can write mocha or you could write espresso, whatever you want. And then I go over it lightly and then I go in, in with a little more detail afterwards once I have it so I know I like it. And now I'm just going to give the tiles themselves a little bit of texture. And smoothing out all the edges all the way around, making sure everything's on there nice and smoothly. Again, just dipping it in the water every once in a while if I need to. And some color shift pink paint, some black and some white, just craft acrylic paints. And we're gonna go over all of our tiles with the black and white. I'm also going to paint that black sign black to begin with here and then we're going to go in with our pink color shift paint here and paint our cup and we're going to go over the coffee sign over the black it looked quite gold so I mixed the pink with a little bit of white and went over it a couple times I do like the variation so I just kind of added it here and there and wiped it on and then I this is our resin that I added some brown ink color to and I'm just pouring that into the hole. Don't need very much for this at all. This is just a UV resin I'm using. And now I'm using a little bit of uh, a white alcohol ink with some UV resin. I'm just going to make a little steam bubble here. Put that under the light a bit, giving it a little texture. And then I just added that directly onto the coffee part and then we put it back under the light. This, the little stem from the steam is attached to the coffee. You can see there it's nice and hard. Wipe it with a little alcohol, take away any sticky. And now this is just a brown wash I made. It is just a little bit of brown paint with water and I'm just running that over just to kind of give it more of a worn antique kind of look. I went over that a couple times with that. Added a little bit of a ribbon bow here. This is uh, two different ribbons together, a pink ribbon and a black and white checkered ribbon. They match just perfect, so I had to use those. We hot glue those right to the board. A little more, I got this is just a metallic pink I went over it with. And we used it right on the stamp here. Just to brighten it up, add a little something to it. And we're going to do that again right on the top. So there it is. It is done. It's a little different than our first one, which is great. You can make them different. You can make them the same. Change it up. Make it fit your own style. 
I love creating things and I love having you guys create with me. Thank you so much for all your support and wonderful comments. I loved having you guys here with me. Thanks for joining me. Please join in again next week when we create something new. Love to all.